<laughs> All right. How about we talk about another team that's unbeaten? But whether you would say whether you would rank them wherever you'd rank them, they wouldn't have a chance. And I'm talking about James Madison, who's currently sitting at nine and zero on the year. And because they're new to the FBS, the genius NCAA says mm. you are not bowl eligible. So SEC Mike, let me ask you this: rules are rules, but where do you stand on James Madison being completely bowl ineligible right now? Well, another day goes, another reason the NCAA has no reason to exist. I mean, we need to do away with this <laughs> and separate football, separate basketball, because these rules are foolishness and they serve no purpose. They essentially just run a basketball tournament, and I don't even think they do the, that well, to be honest with you. I mean, I mean football is its own entity. This is a travesty. You let the team earn it on the field, and if this was a 12-team format like we're going to have next year, they would be in the field, and I, I think they would deserve that opportunity. And I, I don't think you can make a rational argument for why they James Madison does not deserve an opportunity. T -Bot? There is no rational argument. This is just like the Tez Walker situation right, at UNT. Yeah. And this is what is so incredibly frustrating about the NCAA as it as it exists currently is like I thought this is why Charlie Baker was brought in to be visionary, to be the leader in this time no. of extreme volatile change as we as we head into the 2024 gene of college football where everything is different. And yet it's like Charlie Baker's doubled down on all the dumb stuff, the technicalities, the minutia, these pointless rules that don't make logical sense yet hold players and teams out of eligibility. And they're still trying to fight against NIL. What the hell are we doing? The market has spoken. I do not understand at all. And and and, and it's like NCAA. It, it would just be such an easy PR win. Right. Let Tez play. Let James Madison play. And everybody's like, oh, good, good on the NCAA. Yeah, that's a correct decision. Like, it's it's just so they're so far up their own ass they can't see the sun anymore. <laughs> and I thought Baker was going to change that. He just seems to have doubled down on it all. Yeah. The the interesting thing is the idea that. Charlie Baker was brought in to be a visionary. They, they picked a guy who was a politician to run Fair. one of the most bureaucratic organizations in America. Like there was no there was no shot to me that anything was going to change and that they were they were even going to do the responsible, intelligent thing when they had the opportunity to. And I know somebody personally who plays for James Madison right now, and I've spoken to him and his family, and they are up in arms because they feel like they are helpless in this situation. And they've done all that they can. They've won the football games. They have sent in the request for the waiver. And now they're waiting on somebody else to do what is the right thing. And they don't have faith that's going to happen. Like, this is what ruins the sport in some ways, is when you cannot believe in leadership, yeah. like the, the people who are a part of the sport, your major stakeholders are sitting there like, man, I don't I don't know if the right thing is going to happen. That's when you're in a bad spot.